2023. It's over, but it was a fun ride. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. As always, my name is Jay. And in this video, I just want to talk about, of course, it's the beginning of the year. 2023 is over. Happy New Year's to everyone. Of course, I hope you had a great holiday season, great New Year, great Christmas. And so I just want to be like everyone else and talk about how was my year overall in 2023 and what I want to accomplish in 2024. Set some, you know, hopefully not arbitrary goals for myself and follow through and hopefully do them, you know? That's what I want to do. And so 2023 went by so fast. I don't know about you, but I feel with every passing year, the year just goes by quicker and quicker and quicker and quicker. And yeah, like I, it's crazy. It just goes by so fast. Um, but honestly, it was probably one of the best years of my life. It was. I, I really focused for 2023 on enjoying life, enjoying the moment, enjoying the day making the most I can of each day when possible, you know, and just, uh, I got into a groove with my time spent. I played a lot of rounds of golf, which was fun. I met up with some friends. I had a family member visit me. I haven't seen family in years. Uh, that was really cool. And I went on a lot of adventures. It was fun, not expensive adventures, just enjoying my Atlantic Canada and, and seeing things that are new, driving around, you know, Saw some whales. Life's good. I can't complain. And I know that I'm fortunate because I know 2023 wasn't the best for everyone. And unfortunately, I know colleagues that didn't make it through 2023 or colleagues that had family or friends that didn't make it through 2023. And it sucks. But we, we keep going. And I had an amazing year. And what I want, of course, personally, I had an amazing year. And, and professionally, I had a great year. I love my job, but hobby-wise, I had an amazing year, too. I really did. I ended up painting approximately 115 models in 2023, most of which are Dark Angels and some Gene Stealer Cult, pretty much. Uh, a few Necrons. I got bored of Necrons, so I g gave up on Necrons temporarily and started painting Dark Angels. So I painted 115 models, which sounds good, right? On average, a model every three days. Unfortunately, I purchased, I hope my wife can't hear this, uh, 225 models probably. I bought um, the starter set, of course. I purchased the uh, Strike Force, Augustus. Uh, two Battle Forces at Christmas time. I'll be making videos of those in the future. Uh, what else? Of course, Azra uh, the new Azrael model. The new Lion model, of course. Um, group of Knights. And a Boarding Patrol for the Orcs. So that's a lot of models. It's 225 probably models plus. So in the end, I finished net positive for amount of models needed to paint. My pile of shame grew. And that was not my goal. But of course, with the starter set, it was great value. And I purchased it. And it's awesome. And I regret nothing. Of course, I regret nothing at all. I am focusing on a lot of models that I, I needed to paint, which is great. So I will be setting a pretty aggressive painting challenge to myself this year. I'll be making a video about that in the near future, next couple days. And I challenge you to make a similar challenge if you want. And I'm going to try to rid my world of unpainted models basically this year. We'll see. It's going to be a pretty fun time. Now, obviously, I'm going to be painting a lot of generic models coming up. Um, Tyranids are all one color scheme. Right, because the high fleet colors that I chose, and then orcs, the majority of them are just you know easy to paint models like the old plastic grots from second edition, or you know I have thirty commandos. So it won't be, it's not going to be too hard. And I think once I get into a groove, my goal is not to burn out. Of course, that's my first goal is to paint really aggressively and get as much painting done as I can, and not burn out, which is a good challenge. I haven't burned out yet. I do take occasional breaks for a week or two. I wasn't feeling good for a week or two, so I was painting a little bit. So far this year, in 2024, I've painted one model. I painted a homing beacon uh, for my my Dark Angels, and uh, so that's cool. Um, and uh, so that counts. That counts as one. Um, so yeah, I'm going to paint a lot. 
I'm going to enjoy my painting, but I'm going to be quote unquote slap chopping a lot of models coming up in the near future. But I do want to push my painting a little bit for some HQ, some characters, and I do have some busts that I'd really like to start painting this year and really just try to improve my painting a bit. You know, that'd be really cool. Uh, Model-wise, my goal is not to buy that many miniatures this year, obviously. That's probably a fool's errand. Um, I don't want to increase my pile of shame by that much. Makes sense. I've bought a lot, so I've already prepaid for all my painting for this year. You know, I'll be I've already paid for a lot of fun. Now it's time to enjoy it and paint the models and get them on the tabletop. Uh, last year, I have already played more games of this edition than I did the previous edition, so that's awesome. I haven't played any yet this year, but last year I played more games of, of the new edition. You know, last year for, for 40k was a great year. I went to Adepticon, which was phenomenal. I'm going to go to Adepticon again this year. Um, I got to book my flight. That reminds me. But uh, that's important. I'm probably renewing my passport. Also important. But I went to Adepticon, which was phenomenal to catch up with all my friends and colleagues and just hang out and have a great time for a few days. I painted 150 models. I, I like this new game. I like this edition of 40k better than the previous edition, so it's been fun. It's been exciting to get into it. Um, my goals for this upcoming year is to keep playing. Um, I'm slowly integrating myself in the in the meta here. I want to play in a tournament. I haven't yet played in a tournament yet. I want to play in one tournament at least this year. They're just in where I live. They're few and far in between for tournaments. There's only one every couple months, and unfortunately, it's usually just when I'm busy that day. Um, but there's I want to get into a tournament, play some armies, I want to play my new Dark Angels uh, that are painted up and eventually my Tyrians as well, and just slowly, you know, paint up my models, get them on the tabletop. I want to play in a tournament, keep playing some games, and I want to put as big of a dent in my pile of shame this year as possible. That's pretty much it for my, my hobby side. As far as videos go, that was actually one of the, honestly, it was one of the best parts of last year. Being able to come back and make some videos, most of them weren't watched extremely, but that's okay. I, it feels phenomenal to have, to make be able to make some videos and not have as much pressure, to be honest. I don't have, you know, it, I, until recently I wasn't even, uh, I was just trying to get my channel monetized, and I did, which was great. Um, my most video viewed video last year was the um, Warhammer Plus video, which Warhammer Plus is kind of like banned right now in Canada. I did tweak the title. Uh, I do understand a lot of the comments that I mislabeled it, and I agree with their logic. I just like my logic, but I agree with their logic too, so I just tweaked the title to make it a little more um, coherent with what people thought. Um, it's still not allowed, so we still can't have Warhammer Plus in Canada right now, and it was due to the Quebec language laws, unfortunately, that just Games Workshop didn't want to do. Um, what else happened last year? Of course, the new edition came out. As I mentioned, uh, the battle box is great. The star set, I've been painting up the, the Space Marine side is painted. Tyranid side will be coming up in the next couple months. I'll be finishing up that. And um, GW released some amazing models this year. The Lion is probably one of my favorite models of all time. I was so excited when that came out. I, can't, I couldn't wait to buy it. And now it's the next model that I'm painting up. It's my final model for my Dark Angels painting challenge, which was phenomenal. Uh, there were so many cool models released this year, you know, I just, my favorite was the lion by far, but, uh, yeah. yeah, I thought that was really cool, and yeah, so for video-wise this year, I don't know if I'm going to set a hard goal, I really actually set myself a soft goal last year of 60 videos, and I did it, I wanted two pages of 30 to be all new, and I did it, and it's great, I'm just going to keep making videos, and enjoying life, um, I will need to eventually upgrade my equipment, but I'm trying to push my stuff as long as possible. And and now that my channel's monetized, maybe get a little YouTube money and put that towards some stuff. My computer is on its last legs, unfortunately, so I will need to pick up a new computer in the near future. I built it back in, it's at least a decade old, 2013 or 2014. I built my computer and it's lasted till now, so I can't complain at all. It's just now the point where to replace the parts, I might as well just new computer, right? Makes sense. Eventually maybe a new camera, um, this camera's starting to rust, <laughs> but uh, the computer's my first priority, so maybe this year I'll upgrade my equipment. But I want to keep making videos, I want to keep making, I want to focus a lot on painting. Uh, people have been asking about battle reports, maybe in the near future, I'll see. It's been more of a challenge, but I want to get more on, on the painting side, make some quick painting tutorials or tips, that would be really great. Um, I just haven't figured out which ones I want to do yet. Live shows, I had a great time doing live shows last month, and I'll keep doing them. 
for sure. Whenever I can, just schedule a live show and have a great time, assemble models, paint models, just have fun, talk to viewers. It was phenomenal to do. I'm going to keep myself busy 2024, but I'm going to keep enjoying life. I'm going to, you know, other than generic, you know, of course, everyone has, you know, move more, eat less, save more, spend less. Those are the great, um, paint more, buy less is really my, my focus. Paint more, buy less, spend as much time with those who I love as much as possible, my friends and family that I can enjoy this year because it's going to blow by. It's going to go by so fast. Uh, especially when I'm doing these painting challenges. And I'm gonna, as I said, I'm gonna do some painting challenges, but when I'm painting, like, time flies by. Especially when you start doing painting with jades, I find, when you go week to week, it just goes so quickly, you know? It's crazy, I'm gonna keep doing painting with jades, of course. They're the, the, my staple of my videos, I'll get back to that, and I'll, my next one, I'll talk about what's going on lately. Um, as I paint Samuel, not Samuel, sorry, uh, the Lion, L. Johnson. So that'll be really cool. New Dark Angels are coming up. Some great models are coming up this year. Some great new codices are going to be coming up this year. I think it's going to be a great year for 40K, a great year for miniature wargaming. For me, at least, it's going to be a lot of fun. So, what was your 2023 like? What's your 2024 do you think it's going to be like? Do you have any New Year's resolutions? Are you going to try to rid your world of your pile of shame? I'm going to try. Yeah, it's going to be fun. But uh, what are your New Year's resolutions? What are your goals? What do you think? And for all of you people who had an amazing 2023, I hope you have an even better 2024. And for all of you who didn't have a good 2023, I hope you have an amazing 2024. Regardless, I want you to have an amazing year. And we're going to do this together. We're going to have a great time. Stay tuned for more videos as always. Please like this video. Comment in the comment section down below what you thought about your year. What are your goals? What are your ambitions for this year? Are you going to Adepticon? Maybe I'll see you there. And please subscribe to my channel if you already haven't done so. Please hit that bell so every time I put out a video, you see it. And you get to watch it as well. But once again, I can't thank you enough for you out there in internet land helped make my 2023 so amazing by viewing my videos and and just being a part of the conversation and make me feel welcome back. You know, it was phenomenal. I can't thank you enough. But um, yeah, stay tuned for more videos. Until next time, this is Jay saying happy 2024. Happy New Year. And happy painting.